Hey guys, you're watching Team APS. In the last video, we opened some packs in our special edition box of Abyss Rising. Today, we're going to finish up. So we've got five more special editions to go through. And in the last part, we got a lot of cool hollows. We got seven hollows, one secret, an ultimate, an ultra, and several supers that are actually pretty good. So it should be great. <laughs> this is provided by TCG Player and the rest, you know, check them out in the description. And I'm gonna unbox these real quick and we will get started, one sec. Okay, so let's get the show on the road. I already kind of spilled a uh, special edition. So we'll just start with it. Dark Smog was our promo card. Focus right up close here. Perfect, okay, so yeah, Dark Smog and Gaga -ga Girl are the promos. But that's not what you guys are here for, is it? Um, so I don't really know. I mean, like, I don't know if it's possible to get another secret out of these things. It just doesn't feel possible. <laughs> Holy sh... Wow, we got an ultimate rare in our first pack. Medulce Queen Tiara Misu. This is incredible, actually. Um, considering, like, some of the stuff we've gotten so far. I mean, it's not first, but... Madolte Tiaramisu Ultimate Rare? Like, you don't see that too often. And it's for like, what, this is like the boss card for one of my favorite decks, Madolte. So, so far so good. This is the first pack. We are doing great. Uh, thumbs up if you like Madolte, because I like Madolte. Madolte, Mermail, Spellbooks, all three of those decks all kind of were like around this time period. So, it's definitely one thing I like about this set. It actually supports three of my favorite archetypes. Abyss Hilled, House Dustin, Magic Deflector. Actually, a card I thought was decent for a while until I reread it, and it negates anything but actual, like, normal spells. Snow Dust Giant. Something else that's kind of weird about this set, and, like, maybe it's just me, but it feels like the monster card's orange color is, like, really orange in just this set, or, like, in cards released around this time period. Like, you know, the Abyss Rising, Redo... Cosmo, Blazer, those sets. Different Dimension, Deep Sea Trench. The wind blew a pack in my face. Medulce Message. <laughs> oh my god. We pulled a Secret Rare Abyss Megalo. Mermail Abyss Megalo. This is a sign, guys. I am I probably need to be building Mermails. We've gotten two Abyss Spheres. A Secret Giant Soldier of Stone. Ultimate Medulce Queen Tiara Misu. And now, an Ultimate Rare Mermail Abyss Megalo. Are you kidding me? This is... this. This stuff happens? What the hell? Praise the TCG player gods. Um, this is all, like, I, anyway, <laughs> that's great. Like, what the heck? This is our first special edition. Like, we aren't even on the second of this part. And we're already doing that well. Ultimate TR Misu and, oh yeah, Kaga Girl. And Secret Abyss Megalo, like, that's actually insane. This makes up for all the horrible other special edition boxes, and just special editions in general that I've opened, because uh, if you've kept up with this channel, you'll know I've opened some bad ones. Okay, how, how much further can our luck go? Electromagnetic Bagworm, Abyss Spike, and oh my god, ultra rare heroic champion Gandiva? Not, I mean, you know, not the most relevant card today, but it's ultra rare, like what the heck? I'm so surprised at my luck today. <laughs> That's incredible. Heroic Champion Gandiva. Uh, he's the one that can destroy a special summon monster that's level four or lower just by detaching material. Very cool. I'm astounded, to be honest, that our luck has been this insane. I mean, we're already at one, two, three, four, five, six, 11, 10, 10 hollows? That's crazy. Not even like halfway done with this part. Haber Conway, Abyss Scale of the Kraken, Battle Break, Stoica Prophecy, Snow Dust Giant, but no Hollow, but that's okay. I mean, you know, I can't complain too much with a Secret Megalo and Ulti TR Misu and two Abyss Spheres, plus another Secret, a Giant Soldier of Steel, not Stone, Steel. Get out of the packs, cards. Okay. Tripod Fish, Heraldic Beast, Aber Conway, Deep Sea Trench, Gagaga -ga -ga Caesar, and... Guys, I think this is an insane special edition box opening. What the hell? Secret Rare Number C32, Shark Drake, Vice, 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 I don't know. 
So this is the cover card and we got it secret where <laughs> y'all <laughs> Let me just okay mini recap mid opening guys Megalo a ghost rare two abyss spheres Tiara Misu ultimate what the heck Guys I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. These. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. This is crazy. Third special edition. We got a secret rare. Like, do you know that's actually my first time ever pulling a ghost rare also? Like, I've never pulled a ghost rare in my entire life. I mean, I've seen loads of them, but I've never actually pulled one for myself. That's incredible. I mean, it would have been awesome if it was first, or maybe just of a, maybe a newer set, but still. Number C32, Shark Drake, Vice. Gaga Ga Caesar. Like, what the heck? That, I didn't know they got this. Good. See, it's like I said at the beginning of this opening, like kind of in part one, you never know what you'll get with these special edition boxes. Like, you might get way better than a regular box, like multiple secrets and a ghost, or you might get, you know, a complete flop. Oh my god, another Gaga Ga Cowboy Super. Nice. We already pulled up the first one, but... I won't complain. See, like, you just don't know, like, because special editions are so hit or miss. Like, I've opened individual special editions that I bought at, like, Target or Walmart and just gotten no hollows, but then other times you open them and you get, like, three hollows, and it's just like, what the heck? Like, there's just no telling. Snow Dust Giant, Snow Dust Dragon, is this? No, that's common. These are all the adultages I guess no one ever remembers, like, Marmal Maid, Marmalade. This is actually crazy. I'm actually really, It's kind of exciting. Gaga -ga -ga girl. Get over there. I'm so excited. I'm just dropping the packs. The packs are dropping the foils. I've never had good luck with Abyss Rising, but I'll tell you one thing, guys. Abyss Rising is actually... Emperor of Prophecy, huh? Abyss Rising is actually one of the cheapest sets you can find online, um, on eBay and stuff. You find, you find like boxes and special edition boxes and regular boxes and like special editions and stuff of this set really cheaply on eBay because I guess it's just not valued very high overall, but... <sighs> hey, I love Star Hall. But a second Forbidden Dress, super rare, what the heck, nice! We already pulled a first one, but I will not complain about a second one. That's like so many hollows. I just... After, let me take a second. I'll focus the camera. You guys can see some of the craziness that we've gotten here. Let me just like get all these supers. Two forbidden dresses. My Dolce Palooza. A noble Knight. Two cowboys. Two Abyss Spheres, one Ultra, one Ulti. Ultimate Medulce Tiara Misu. Ultra again Diva. Secret Megalo, Secret Giant Soldier of Steel. Number C32, Ghost. What the heck? All right, back to the opening. Not that it can get a whole lot better, but I mean, we've got six, seven, 13 foils. And we're not even through the whole 30 packs. It's like pack number 26 or 7. Magic Deflector, Abyss Hill, Mess, and Gelato. That wacky Alchemy Ultra Rare. Nice. Maybe not... <laughs> I don't remember this. Sorry. That wacky Alchemy Ultra Rare. Um, target a face-up spell card in your opponent's spell or trap card zones. Wait. If a face-up spell or trap card in your opponent's spell or trap card zones into the game, you can target a face-up monster in the field and destroy it. That's wacky. That's another hollow, guys. 14 hollows. What the heck? Don't know, man. Final special edition, as if this could get any better. I mean, I don't even know what more I can ask for at this point. A Gaga girl, apparently. So, last three packs of this insanely epic <laughs> Abyss Rising special edition. I didn't expect it to be this good. Little Jig Cruff Scent, Snow Dust Giant, Deep Sweeper. <clears throat> Watch this be like the final one and we just get like no hollows at all. That would be... That'd be funny. <clears throat> We've gotten a lot of magic deflectors. Fishboard Planter. 
Noble Arms are for GG. Red Dragon Ninja, super rare. Probably not one of the used ninjas, but it's a super rare. That's like 15 supers. I'm I'm just going with, actually let's see what he does. Uh, when it's summoned, you can banish a ninja or a ninja to art from your grave to target a set card your opponent controls. Reveal it and return it to the top or the bottom of the deck. They can't activate in response to this. Okay. That's neat. We're not gonna cover up our ghost very just yet. Final pack of destiny in this incredible box opening where we've printed, basically had like a hollow pull rate of like half. This is 30 total packs and we're on the final pack and we're looking at uh, 15 hollows so far. Electromagnetic Bagworm, Mog Mole, Abyss Warrior, Tripod Fish, Spellbook of Eternity, yeah, no hollow, but Spellbook of Eternity is really cool. Good rare. So that's going to conclude the opening. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, so let's, let's regain our bearings for a second here. Because this has been a little bit insane. Uh, get our ultras. Like, what the heck, guys? This I've never had an opening this good, and in forever. I mean, I want to say. Okay, so recap time. We got a super Gaga cowboy, not one but two. We got a super forbidden dress, not one but two. Red dragon ninja. Ignoble Knight of Black Lonsolin, Medolce Palooza, Ultras, That Wacky Alchemy, Heroic Champion Gandiva, Abyssphere, another Abyssphere Ultimate Rare, Ultimate Medolce Queen Tiaramisu, Secret Giant Soldier Steel, can't complain, it's a secret, Secret Mermel Abyss Megalo, what? And Ghost Rare, my first Ghost Rare ever, number C32, Shark Drake Vice. The cover card. I just kind of don't know. I just kind of don't. <laughs> That's crazy. So, if you guys like this opening, um, please check out TCG Player. It's all possible thanks to them. Um, links in the description. Also, if you want to purchase this Team APS mat with all of us on it, it looks really cool. You can purchase it from Inked Play Mats. Link in the description for that as well. And um, if you like the video, follow me on social media. Give me suggestions for stuff to open up next. I don't think we'll ever quite have an opening that beats this in terms of hollow pull ratios. 15 foils out of 30 packs. I don't know. Anyways, that's all. So I hope you guys liked the video. Follow me on social media. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! And I guess I'm building mermails now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.